Porter Five Forces analysis is a framework to analyze level of competition within an industry and business strategy development. It draws upon industrial organization economics to derive five forces that determine the competitive intensity and therefore attractiveness of a market. Attractiveness in this context refers to the overall industry profitability. An unattractive industry is one in which the combination of these five forces acts to drive down overall profitability. A very unattractive industry would be one approaching pure competition, in which available profits for all firms are driven to normal profit. This analysis is associated with its principal innovator Michael E. Porter of Harvard University. Porter referred to these forces as the microenvironment, to contrast it with the more general term macroenvironment. They consist of those forces close to a company that affect its ability to serve its customers and make a profit. A change in any of the forces normally requires a business unit to reassess the marketplace given the overall change in industry information. The overall industry attractiveness does not imply that every firm in the industry will return the same profitability. Firms are able to apply their core competencies, business model or network to achieve a profit above the industry average. A clear example of this is the airline industry. As an industry, profitability is low and yet individual companies, by applying unique business models, have been able to make a return in excess of the industry average. Porter's five forces include, three forces from horizontal competition, the threat of substitute products or services, the threat of established rivals, and the threat of new entrants. And two forces from vertical competition, the bargaining power of suppliers and the bargaining power of customers. Porter developed his five forces analysis in reaction to the then popular SWOT analysis, which he found unrigorous and ad hoc. Porter's five forces is based on the structure conduct performance paradigm in industrial organizational economics. It has been applied to a diverse range of problems, from helping businesses become more profitable to helping governments stabilize industries. Other Porter strategic frameworks include the value chain and the generic strategies. History Porter Five Forces Analysis is a framework for industry analysis and business strategy development formed by Michael E. Porter of Harvard Business School in 1979. Five Forces Threat of new entrants, profitable markets that yield high returns will attract new firms. This results in many new entrants, which eventually will decrease profitability for all firms in the industry. Unless the entry of new firms can be blocked by incumbents, the abnormal profit rate will trend towards zero. The following factors can have an effect on how much of a threat new entrants may pose, the existence of barriers to entry. The most attractive segment is one in which entry barriers are high and exit barriers are low. Few new firms can enter and non-performing firms can exit easily. Government policy, capital requirements, absolute cost, cost disadvantages independent of size, economies of scale, economies of product differences, product differentiation, brand equity, switching costs or sunk costs, expected retaliation, access to distribution, customer loyalty to established brands, industry profitability, threat of substitute products or services, the existence of products outside of the realm of the common product boundaries increases the propensity of customers to switch to alternatives. For example, Tap water might be considered a substitute for Coke, whereas Pepsi is a competitor's similar product. Increased marketing for drinking tap water might shrink the pie for both Coke and Pepsi, whereas increased Pepsi advertising would likely grow the pie, albeit while giving Pepsi a larger slice at Coke's expense. Another example is the substitute of traditional phone with VoIP phone. Potential factors, buyer propensity to substitute relative price performance of substitute, buyer switching costs, perceived level of product differentiation, number of substitute products available in the market, ease of substitution, substandard product, quality depreciation, bargaining power of customers. The bargaining power of customers is also described as the market of outputs, the ability of customers to put the firm under pressure, which also affects the customer's sensitivity to price changes. Firms can take measures to reduce buyer power, such as implementing a loyalty program. The buyer power is high if the buyer has many alternatives. Potential factors, 
via concentration to firm concentration ratio, degree of dependency upon existing channels of distribution, bargaining leverage, particularly in industries with high fixed costs, via switching costs relative to firm switching costs, via information availability, forced down prices, availability of existing substitute products, via price sensitivity, differential advantage of industry products, RFM analysis, the total amount of trading, bargaining power of suppliers. The bargaining power of suppliers is also described as the market of inputs. Suppliers of raw materials, components, labor, and services to the firm can be a source of power over the firm when there are few substitutes. If you are making biscuits and there is only one person who sells flour, you have no alternative but to buy it from them. Suppliers may refuse to work with the firm or charge excessively high prices for unique resources. Potential factors, supplier switching costs relative to firm switching costs, degree of differentiation of inputs, impact of inputs on cost or differentiation, presence of substitute inputs, strength of distribution channel, supplier concentration to firm concentration ratio, employee solidarity, supplier competition, the ability to forward vertically integrate and cut out the buyer. Intensity of competitive rivalry, for most industries the intensity of competitive rivalry is the major determinant of the competitiveness of the industry. Potential factors, sustainable competitive advantage through innovation, competition between online and offline companies, level of advertising expense, powerful competitive strategy, firm concentration ratio, degree of transparency, usage, strategy consultants occasionally use Porter's Five Forces framework when making a qualitative evaluation of a firm's strategic position. However, for most consultants, the framework is only a starting point or checklist. They might use value chain afterward. Like all general frameworks, an analysis that uses it to the exclusion of specifics about a particular situation is considered NAN, they. According to Porter, the five forces model should be used at the line of business industry level. It is not designed to be used at the industry group or industry sector level. An industry is defined at a lower, more basic level, a market in which similar or closely related products and or services are sold to buyers. A firm that competes in a single industry should develop, at a minimum, one five forces analysis for its industry. Porter makes clear that for diversified companies, the first fundamental issue in corporate strategy is the selection of industries in which the company should compete. And each line of business should develop its own, industry-specific, five forces analysis. The average global 1,000 company competes in approximately 52 industries. Criticisms, Porter's framework has been challenged by other academics and strategists such as Stuart Neal. Similarly, the likes of ABC, Kevin P. Coyne, one, and Somu Subramaniam have stated that three dubious assumptions underlie the five forces, that buyers, competitors, and suppliers are unrelated and do not interact and collude. That the source of value is structural advantage. That uncertainty is low, allowing participants in a market to plan for and respond to competitive behavior. An important extension to Porter was found in the work of Adam Brandenberger and Barry Nalabuff of Yale School of Management in the mid-1990s. Using game theory, they added the concept of complementers, helping to explain the reasoning behind strategic alliances. The idea that complementers are the sixth force has often been credited to Andrew Grove, former CEO of Intel Corporation. According to most references, the sixth force is government or the public. Martin Richard Jones, whilst consulting at Group Bull, developed an augmented five forces model in Scotland in 1993. It is based on Porter's model and includes government as well as pressure groups as the notional sixth force. This model was the result of work carried out as part of Group Bull's Knowledge Asset Management Organization initiative. Porter indirectly rebutted the assertions of other forces, by referring to innovation, government and complementary products and services as factors that affect the five forces. It is also perhaps not feasible to evaluate the attractiveness of an industry independent of the resources a firm brings to that industry. 
it is thus argued that this theory be coupled with the resource-based view in order for the firm to develop a much more sound strategy. It provides a simple perspective for accessing and analyzing the competitive strength and position of a corporation, business or organization. See also, National Diamond, Value Chain, Porter's Four Corners Model, Industry Classification, Non-Market Forces, References. Further reading, Coyne, K.P. and Sujit Balakrishnan, Bringing Discipline to Strategy, The McKinsey Quarterly, No. 4. Porter, M.E. How Competitive Forces Shape Strategy. Harvard Business Reviewer, Porter, M.E. Competitive Strategy, Free Press, New York, 1980. Porter, M.E. The Five Competitive Forces That Shape Strategy, Harvard Business Review, January 2008. Ireland, Hoskisson, Understanding Business Strategy. Southwestern, Rayner and Turban, Introduction to Information Systems, Wiley, 2009, pages 36 a euro 41. Kotler Philip, Marketing Management, Prentice Hall, Incorporated 1997, Mintzberg, Alstrand and Lampel, Strategy Safari 1998. External links.